Hey peeps, today we are going to look at frame rates and how that affects your slow motion videos from the GoPro and how to achieve that really epic look. Guys, see you after this. So guys, in today's news, well, weather is still pretty here in Belgium. Also, I am still doing the giveaway. So if you didn't enter already, please do that because a few days after this video is uploaded, it's going to be the end of the giveaway and the winner will be chosen. So guys, link is down below in the description or somewhere here on the screen. Click that and go participate and then come back to watch this video. Guys, on to the main thing now. So guys, frame rates. And now what is this exactly the frame rate? Well, it's basically really simple. It's the rate at which frames are shown to you in a sequence. You measure those in frames per second and that's what you're gonna see on the GoPro being the 30 frames per second or the 60 frames or even the 120 and 240 frames a second. Now there is going to be a difference on where you watch this in the world, especially if you're watching on a TV or something like that because uh, you have the US and the rest of the world and the US is using a playback speed of 30 frames a second. The rest of the world who is basically watching in 24 or 25 frames a second. Something that's also different between the two of these is that the 30 frames a second is going to be a little bit crispier and you have the 25 frames a second which is most as our eyes see the world so we have a little bit of motion blur for example when you wave your hand that's what 24 or 25 frames a second does to you. Now what do I exactly mean with the playback speed and the frame rate and what 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 is going on? Well basically if you're shooting in your camera you can set a specified frame rate. For example you are shooting 1080p 30 frames a second. Now if you're going back in post you can actually play that back at 25 frames a second. What that does is your motion it's not going to be as smooth as if you were editing on a 30 frames a second timeline. So if you are doing 30 frames a second in camera make sure you have 30 frames a second in your editing. But Tom what about that slow motion you may ask? Well it's pretty simple and it's pretty cool to do so. If you're filming high action sports or something you want to be in slow motion make sure that you go over your normal frame rate that you are editing with. So for example, if you are editing in 30 frames a second, make sure to go to 60 frames a second or even higher as you are essentially slowing down time and it looks amazing. It's going to be half the speed of which you are seeing something in real life. Now something you should think about is that if you're going to do, for example, 120 frames a second or 240 frames a second, there's not a lot of time in between the shots. That means that there's not a lot of light going in. So if it's already dark outside or it's becoming dawn or something like that, it's not going to work out. It's going to be grainy, it's going to be less quality because there's not enough light to go into the sensor to give you the best possible result. Something else is that the quality just in itself is going to be lower if you are shooting at a higher frame rate. And that's just the way it works because the processing power of these cameras is not high enough to cope with all of that data that's coming in. So guys, I went outside and managed to shoot some slow motion clips before it went raining again. Guys, I hope you'll enjoy. Here it is. Guys, let's get some epic shots right now. So guys, that's the end of this video because my voice is completely gone. If you have any questions down below, there's the comment section. Just put it out there if you have any problems with the, uh, the frame rate or you have a suggestion or you want to ask me something, whatever, what my favorite color is. I don't care, just put it down in the comments below. 
and you know the drill subscribe like and comment and I'll be making more of these videos to be coming your way guys stay creative and go with the flow